What is going on, good people? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Trouble T-Roy, a.k.a. Get Kicks, a.k.a. Mr. Controversy. Back again with another video for you. Just to go over some additional things, this will be Real versus Fake is a Scam, part two. Now, again, I said what I said, Real versus Fake is a Scam. And we're going to go over a specific topic today. For example, you have your sneaker legit checking apps. I guess we'll go over authenticators in part three. I said we'll do it in two, but we're going to do that in part three. But here in part two, we're going to go over sneaker legit checking apps. I've seen a couple new ones out. I don't necessarily know them by uh, name per se. The one I am familiar with by name is Check Check. They're still out here doing their thing. And I want to give you a couple fun facts about this app before you start using it or people that want to buy and legit check shoes start using this app and, and live and die by this app. The first thing is the developers and manufacturers of this application is in China. Yes, it's not even U.S. based. So they're selling you a product or they're selling you a service um, saying that legit check. They're doing legit checking, but they're not even based in our country. They're based in China. That is a fact. I actually had a conversation uh, with someone that is behind the check check app um, a couple of years ago. And they weren't necessarily a fan of what I was saying about the app. No offense, I really didn't care what they were, whether they were a fan or not of what I was saying. Because again, when you tell the truth about certain things, it's you know it it ruffles a little bit of feathers out here. So pretty much, it's based in China. I know that for a fact. It's not even even an American app, and people are using this to determine whether shoes are real versus fake. It's a whole like farce, for lack of better terms. All right. The second thing that I wanted to mention specifically uh, about this app is it says it uses artificial intelligence. It uses AI. Well, if this app is using AI and somebody in the comments uh, in my last video pointed this out and I'm glad they pointed this out. So salute uh, to you who pointed this out. But they stated that they had retail pair and I've done this myself as well. They had retail pair. Right. And the retail pair that they had, they put through the check check app. And as they put it through the check check app, what happened was it came back as not legit. And it was a pair that they scored off the sneakers app. The pair that I got, I scored out of DTLR when I did it. And it came back as not legit. Now, both of these are actual deal like Nike authorized retail <laughs> dealers. And both of these pairs came back as not legit. So you tell me what's wrong with that. So if it's using artificial intelligence, I guess the artificial intelligence isn't that good to be able to tell actual retail pair. So you really think that this app is beneficial to you and tells you real versus fake for your shoes, whether you consider them UA or whether you consider them retail pair. You think this app is accurate? It can't even identify retail pair. Like, come on, wake up. So what kind of artificial intelligence are they using? And I remember in the conversation that they had, like uh, the, the, the gentleman from Check Check and myself had, um, and he was saying like it was some things that that he couldn't particularly say, but he could like they were still able to tell that if the shoes were were real or fake. And I'm like, say what you're going to say. Like, it's not really any top secret. You know what I mean? Like information. Just say it like your app is inaccurate. So what they did was they tried to paint the picture like they had some inside intel that I wasn't familiar with. <laughs> so I'm like, what's so top secret that you know that you can't disclose to me? Like, I can't take anything he said for face value simply because your app can't even identify retail pairs. So it's something wrong with your AI or you're flat out lying and y'all don't use AI. And it's just an app that's a money grab. And that's what I feel like it is. It's just an app that's a money grab. And keep in mind, they're not based here in the U.S. It's based in China. That is a fact. I know that for certain. Again, and I have receipts of things that I'm telling you. Everything that I'm telling you, I have receipts and I can actually prove. So these legit checking apps that you put your shoes through that lie and be like, well, we use artificial intelligence and or we do this five point inspection, you know, and got wasting got you wasting your time taking a whole bunch of pictures of the insole <laughs> the stitching on the insole the freaking uh barcode on the tag the barcode on the box 
you know, lifting the insole up and, and, and taking them on different angles. Got you wasting your time jumping through hoops to legit check a shoe whole time. You're being freaking uh, <laughs> bamboozled. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like doing this and, and, and going through these motions for nothing. Because again, these sneaker apps are fraudulent. I'm saying it. And if any of them have a problem with me, they can reach out to me. Let's we can. I'm willing to do like we can talk about it on a live. We can go on a live. We can do a Zoom, whatever virtual media. Like we can do whatever. We can put it here on YouTube. I'm willing to do that. You know, I'm not afraid to challenge y'all because I know what the deal is. Like, I've seen so many things on the inside. Like, it's crazy. Like, I literally had, I'm not, I'm not gassing y'all. I'm not capping at all. I literally had a conversation with the cat from Check Check app. So, in essence, like, it just, I don't know. I don't know if y'all really understand, but it's not what you really feel it is. But this video is a little shorter. Um, I just wanted to touch base with y'all to let y'all know that again real versus fake is a scam this is part two regarding sneaker apps and like i say you got these up and coming apps that's coming out now that say they do legit checking um it should put a red flag up number one because again authentication is something that's made up so that's the first red flag that should go up for y'all whenever y'all see these legit checking apps anytime somebody quote unquote legit checks that's definitely a red flag like it's a money grab so y'all go ahead and even with authenticators such as like on platforms of StockX and eBay. But maybe that's part three. We'll 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 go into that part three and then we'll because that kind of deals with authenticators too. So it's a money grab, man. Don't waste your money listening to the word of a freaking app that is flat out lying to you that can't even tell the difference between retail pair and quote unquote fakes that they call. Can't even tell the difference. Can't even tell the difference in quality of the shoes. Can't even tell the difference in, like, come on. Come on. Use your head. It, I don't know. It's not much more I can say on this video. So I'm going to leave it right there. Again, it's your boy, Trouble T-Roy. Please do not forget to like, subscribe. Um, again, check out the promos at the back part of the video. I do some music. I got some creative business stuff going on. If you want to be a part, don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, I'm out of here. Talk to you. Peace.